Hello YouTube and welcome to Synthetic Oil Info. My name is Tom Brown and in this video I want to talk about a technical service bulletin that General Motors released back in 2012 that talks about service intervals for certain GM vehicles equipped with HF V6 engines. Now the HF V6 engine is primarily a 3.6 liter high feature, that's what the HF stands for, uh, V6 engine that was found in or the problem engines were found in uh, 2007 through 2009 uh, model years for several different GM lines, including uh, the Buick Enclave, the uh, Cadillac CTS SRX STS, and the GMC Acadia, and the Saturn Outlook. Uh, this is a, a double overhead cam uh, V6 engine. Uh, that employs a direct injection in some cases. Uh, and the problem, though, that they're having is uh, timing chain stretch. Uh, and what is happening is that, uh, unlike a lot of import cars that have a timing belt uh, that connects the camshafts to the crankshaft, uh, this particular engine utilizes a series of timing chains. There's actually three of them inside the engine. Uh, there's one short chain that comes up and drives a uh, kind of like an idler where the traditional camshaft would have been on a, a V-series engine down the middle of the engine on the front there. Uh, and then that uh, idler pulley uh, drives two other chains that go to each respective cylinder bank uh, that drive the uh, camshafts on that each side of the engine. So there's a total of three chains. Uh, and each of those chains is equipped with a hydraulically actuated tensioner that keeps the, the tension on that chain uh, correct. But the problem they're having is that the material that those chains were made out of for those 2007 through 2009 model years uh, wears prematurely and stretches. And when that chain stretches, it allows the camshaft timing to retard meaning that the camshaft is no longer turning uh, in sequence or in, uh, in time with the, cam the crankshaft, uh, which throws off the valve geometry timing for the entire engine. And there are sensors on board these new engines that are constantly measuring uh, things such as that. Uh, so you have a crankshaft position sensor and you have a camshaft position sensor. Each of those are telling the computer on board okay, this is where that respective uh, component is in terms of uh, a number of degrees of rotation out of 360. And so when that camshaft starts to retard, or the camshafts in this case, because there's multiple camshafts on these engines, uh, when those camshafts start to retard in relation to their rotation with the crankshaft, uh, it throws off a warning to the computer and then the computer sets your service engine soon or malfunction indicator light uh, that tells you, hey, there's a problem inside your engine. Uh, the engine is no longer able to make the adjustment uh, with, uh, you know, electronically. We now have a mechanical problem inside the engine. And so what happens is they have to go in and replace the camshaft uh, or, excuse me, they have to replace the timing chains and usually when they replace the timing chains, they also replace the uh, tensioners and uh, maybe some other idler pulleys and things like that inside of the engine. And on this particular engine, that's a very uh, entailed process. They have to usually pull the engine from the car and disassemble the front of it, uh, which is um, very time consuming and very costly. Uh, and this can be a multi-thousand dollar job. Uh, one of the things that General Motors uh, has tried to do to, um, I guess, reduce the, the chance of this happening in terms of this chain stretch is to shorten the oil change interval for these engines in hopes that uh, changing the engine oil more frequently will reduce the amount of sludge and dirt buildup in the engine uh, and the fresher oil more often will reduce the wear on the timing chains. Uh, not necessarily a bad idea if you think that the oil is causing the problem, um, but from 
an AMSOIL synthetic perspective, you know, here's kind of the turning point for us. Uh, you know, so what's the oil? What's the oil connection here? Uh, and from an AMSOIL perspective, the oil connection is they're using an inferior oil to start with. Uh, if they were using a better oil in these engines, the timing chain wear uh, would not be so severe. Uh, not that it couldn't happen at all, because the timing chain in every engine wears as the engine uh, ages in terms of uh, mileage or hours of use. Um, it's, it is a wear component of the engine, and every engine at some point is going to have to have the timing chain replaced. But you can drastically reduce uh, how often you have to change that timing chain by running a better quality oil, such as uh, the synthetic oils that AMSOIL sells. Um, GM's recommendation here to change the oil more frequently um, leads AMSOIL to recommend using their original equipment or OE line of oil, um, which is a lower priced synthetic oil from AMSOIL, which is designed to meet the change interval of whatever the manufacturer recommends. So that's always the starting point. You know, GM has recommended to shorten the oil interval, oil change interval. AMSOIL has now come on board officially and said, okay, we're going to recognize that and we're going to recommend that you use the OE oil. Uh, but if this were my vehicle, uh, and fortunately I do not own one of these, uh, I would be using the Signature Series oil, which is our top of the line oil, uh, even if I had to change it more frequently. Because the, the, the cheapest thing that an owner can do for one of these vehicles is to use a better oil in them and reduce the risk that you're going to have one of those timing chains wear out prematurely um, and cause that stretch, which could lead to catastrophic engine failure uh, in the worst conditions because the chain can stretch or break or even jump uh, the sprocket, uh, jump a tooth on a sprocket if it wears too far uh, and create a timing situation which could allow, uh, if this was an interference-based engine, could allow a, a intake or exhaust valve to strike the piston as the piston travels up in the bore. And if that happens, that becomes catastrophic because it usually punches a hole in the piston, breaks the valve, and then the next time that engine rotates over very quickly, uh, it usually pushes that broken exhaust head uh, through the side of the block. Uh, so it creates a lot of damage very quickly before you can get that engine shut off. So uh, just to recap, uh, if you own one of these uh, 3.6 liter HF V6 engines from General Motors, um, you need to start paying attention to your oil change interval and you need to use the best oil possible. It is the, is the cheapest thing you can possibly do to uh, stave off these costly repairs on these engines. Now there's a possibility that General Motors will repair this engine uh, under warranty or under a recall uh, or maybe you purchased an extended warranty uh, for this engine and in that case uh, definitely get these timing chains replaced. Um, you know or if you have to go into that engine for any other reason definitely replace those faulty timing chains while you're in there because they're going to continue to cause problems as long as they are in there. Uh, using a better quality oil just extends the life of a bad chain. It doesn't prevent the problem. So uh, if you would like to uh, check out what AMSOIL has to offer for your vehicle, uh, go to our website, minutemanperformance.com, or uh, send us an email at info at minutemanperformance.com, and we can get that recommendation back to you. Just send us your vehicle specifics, your make, model, year, and engine size. And we'll get back to you with oil and filter recommendations. Um, please go to Facebook and like us there. And please also uh, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and like our videos here as well. Uh, when you do those things, uh, like us and subscribe to us, uh, it allows us to get seen by more people. And then we can help other people, just like we're helping you now, solve your most demanding uh, and challenging oil filtration and lubrication questions and problems. Um, so that is it for now. Uh, my name is Tom Brown. This is Synthetic Oil Info, and we will see you on the next video.
Thanks for watching.